Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Wicked Modern Websites YouTube channel. We are excited and honored today to have a guest who is a champion in the world of customer service, and that is Zach Bates of Dustbusters Cleaning of Massachusetts in North Shore Reading. Zach, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for having me, Andrew. Pleasure to be on. So Zach, Zach, thanks for being here. He is a, uh, I've known Zach, having clean facilities of my clients, and he even became one of my clients. So if you have been on our website, you may have seen his website. So you got to get there and check him out. Um, and I've just enjoyed watching your company grow so much over the last two years, Zach. It's really a pleasure to see all the success that you have. And personally, I feel like your customer service approach is second to none. Um, so we'd love to have you give us your top three customer service tips and just let us in a little bit on the magic recipe on how you do it. Yeah, Andrew. Um, well, thank you so much. You know, I also, you know, for all that, and I also have to thank you, you know, your website has done amazing things for us and, you know, our SEO school and our Google has gone through the roof just, you know, and I have to give that all to you. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, for customer service, my top three things would have to be availability. Um, you know, that's one of the top things, you know, you always want to be available to the customer, especially in the cleaning world. Um, you know, it, it, it can be eight o'clock at night, you're cleaning somebody's house, let's say, and they didn't get home till eight o'clock at night, but you know, something was left and they can't find something or moved around and you know, your phone is on. So they're able to call you and say, Hey Zach, you know, do you know where this went? And you're able to find that for that person. Cause you know, to that person, that thing that might have been moved, that could be the, the biggest thing in the world. You know, I know it's a little small thing, like, you know, a box of tissues, let's say, but to that customer, it could be the biggest thing in the world. So I always like to have my phone on available 24 seven to the customer. Um, you know, my phone, I tell everybody who works with me, if you call me at four o'clock in the morning, call me three times and I'll answer because, you know, I might be sleeping, but do it. I don't care. That's what you're paying me for you're paying me for that availability. You know, um, my second thing is personal touch. You know, I, I have a big company now. We have over 75 employees, but I, I'm not hiring managers to, you know, for you to talk to. I'm hiring managers to run my employees and to make sure that they're doing everything and do the hiring for us. But whatever problems you have or whatever things you need to say, you come to me and you talk to me. You always get that personal touch of the family feel, family owned company, um, small business feel that you're always going to deal with me getting the owner who's going to take care of whatever your needs are and whatever it is, no matter how small or how big it is, we'll figure it out together. Um, you know, just that's my second biggest thing. Well, every cleaning job must be so different, right? Because no two facilities or homes are alike. So I feel like you've just got to be creating solutions on the fly at every moment of the day. A hundred percent, Andrew. You know, we always have to, uh, you know, everyone's different. Every person is different. Um, you know, one person, you know, has these little things that they would rather done. And this other person, those little things aren't, aren't anything to them, you know? Um, you know, big things to some people are small things to other people. And they rather you focus in these areas of their house or their facility or this or that, because that's what they see. You know, it's all what the customer sees and what the customer wants is, you know, my personal touch. Um, and, and, you know, I have to be different with everybody. You know, I, I have to treat everybody differently, you know, not in a sense of, you know, how they are, but, you know, how I am towards their cleaning and their cleaning needs. Um, you know, I always, I treat everybody the same, but their cleaning needs, I treat differently, um, you know, whatever they want. And, you know, we're very easy going. We take care of as much as we can, but there are small details that so everybody likes to make sure that you hit. And we always try to, you know, get detail oriented with everybody and, you know, check all their boxes that they would have. One thing I want to circle back to and, and, and say, and it's something that I say all the time to all my partners and all my clients and customers. And it touches so well on your first two points of availability and personal touch. And, and this, I know it's cliche, but people do businesses, do business with people, not with companies, right? So when you make yourself available 
or you at least make it appear that you are available at all times, you gain so much more trust with your target consumer and all your customers and clients, and they can feel that, right? Couldn't agree more, Andrew. I, I really couldn't. You know, it's um, you know, it, it's just being available available for everybody in twenty four seven is huge. Um, you know, it really helps makes the customer feel like you're taking on their account, making it your own. And that's what I like to do. I like to, you know, when I when I pick up a facility, when I pick up a house, when I do an office cleaning, a gym cleaning, you know, whatever cleaning it is, and you're paying me money to do this service, your location becomes mine. I treat it as, this, as if it's my office and I want to work there and I want to be in a clean environment or be there or work out there or live there. And whatever it is, I take that client on. And if they're with me and they're paying me for that service, you're now a part of me. You're now a part of Dustbusters. You're now, it's. I feel as if it's mine. I feel as if I own some stake in that company or business. It's a weird way to think, but that's what I feel. Um, and then, you know, my, my third biggest thing is just following up. You know, no matter how big or how small the job is, you know, my, if I haven't heard from you in two weeks, you're going to get a text or a call from me, you know, if you're one of my bigger facilities saying, hey, how did the cleaning go? How are the cleaners doing? How's the team doing? You know, is there anything we can improve on? Is there anything that you want done differently? Um, do you feel that they're doing everything up to your standards? You know, just stuff like that. Following up with people, making sure that they they know you're here and you're available and you want to hear their thoughts. You want to hear what they have to say because we can always grow. We can always learn and we can always be better. You know, nobody's perfect and, you know, 100% cleaning and, you know, everybody in this industry could probably agree with it is you can't be perfect. You try your best to be perfect, but you can't be. And, you know, just following up with people and making sure that they know you're here to hear what they have to say. And, you know, you can follow up with them. But here's the biggest thing, Andrew, you have to you have to hit it home and you have to do it. That's so right. You have to take care of whatever they need. And, yet, you know, that's one thing that I, you know, that's the fourth thing, I guess. I always make sure I do my best, whatever that need is, whatever they want me done differently, whatever they ask me for, I always make sure we try to get it done as soon and as quick as possible. So the customer is happy and then I'm happy. The best customer service is a job well done, Zach. That is right, man. That was a lot of information you gave us and that was a lot of insight and you've already given me ideas on how I can improve my customer service. Um, fantastic insight for the whole audience. Well, we're going to move on to another segment. Hopefully we can have Zach back again sometime soon, but Zach, thank you so much for your time and effort. Your customer service tips here have been great. We're all going to remember to be available and at least seem available. If we're not available, create that impression that you are available. And most of the time, truly be available. We're going to have personal touch. We're going to treat our clients and our customers as if they were our own business. Because I know that's what you do. It's what I try to do. And I always recommend caring about your customer. Customers aren't just someone to work with. They're people that we care about. And that always shines through in your customer service. And I know you and Dustbusters tremendously care about every cleaning job that you do in your reputation and we're going to follow up and uh, we're going to follow up with you and have you back again zach thanks again for visiting anything how was your experience how was your time on the show would you come back? time on the show i can't wait to come back for the next time around thank you so much andrew hey thanks zach have a great day guys everyone check out dustbusters cleaning ma.com and wicked modern websites and check the links below don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time here on wicked modern websites youtube channel see you later guys